think 2021 going to be better than 2020? Oh, yeah. It's January 1st, 2021, and we're up before sunrise for our annual first of the year birding trip. Each year we go out on January 1st to see how many different bird species we can find in the new year in the state of Wisconsin. Our trip almost always consists of us looking for the rarest birds in the state. This year, the rarest are a spotted towhee in Dane County and a California gull in Jefferson County. Our first stop is the UW-Madison Arboretum to look for the towhee. On the way, we speculated about how our day would go. I think it has the potential of being one of our highest days, even though we're getting started later. Yeah, you think so? I think so. Feel it. I don't know, we'll see. So we've done this enough to know that the question we always ask is, what's the first bird we're gonna see? And I've already resigned that it's gonna be an American crow. I'm just waiting for it, I'm just gonna accept it, it's fine. I kinda get a feeling it will be an American crow. It normally is. Oh, yep, you can kind of see him. Count it. That's crows, exactly told ya. What I told thought ya. was going to happen. A.M. Crow. We saw several other birds, but the freeway driving and cloudy conditions made getting positive IDs difficult. So the story so far has been we've seen a decent amount of birds, but the weather is very, like, foggy, and it's been really hard to get videos of the stuff that we've seen. But we for sure got... American Crow and Ryan and I have both seen a red tail, so that's where we're at too so far. I'm excited to get out and have time to listen and not be in the car. We arrived at the spring trail at the Arboretum and were greeted by a flurry of bird activity and new species to add to our list. No. <laughs> that house sparrow. <laughs> Do we have that yet? I, I didn't. <laughs> it's so birdie out right now, it's great. And we had some nice uh, sparrows that are kind of out of season. We had the white-throated and then a couple nice fox sparrows that have been down here too. Yeah, the swampy. Oh yeah, in the swampy. And we already got Harry Downey and red-bellied woodpecker. Found a robin. Found a robin, blue jays, other common feeder stuff. Although we tallied a variety of species, there was no sign of the spotted towhee in the location where it was normally found. We decided to walk down to the edge of the spring to look for it when another birder called over and said he saw it. Spotted towhee leads. What just happened? Guy just told us where the spotted towhee was. So He's a hero. <laughs> Well, we gotta find it though. Just go in, like over here. Maybe over here. While looking, we heard a wild turkey call, and eventually the spotted towhee popped out onto a branch and gave us great looks. Nice. That's a dope first deer bird. Yeah, that's awesome. Got the spotted. <laughs> Bird of the day so far. It's a great bird though. Yeah. From the Arboretum, we made a quick stop at Monona Bay to look for ducks. The bay was mostly iced over, but we did manage to pick up tundra swan and Canada goose. At our next stop, Pheasant Branch Conservancy, we immediately heard a small but boisterous species. You gotta tell the people what we heard, right? Red breasted nuthatch. We'll see one, I think. Hopefully. In the trees was also a very friendly white-breasted nuthatch. After looking at the nuthatch, we continued into the forest. We always normally find some cool stuff here. Derek, my friend, what are we looking for? We are looking for house finches. Good views of red-breasted nuthatches. Uh, um, any kind of prairie bird. Shrike, we could get Cooper's hawk, sharp-chinned hawk. We found a sharp-chinned hawk here once and he's never forgotten that. I know they're here. <laughs> In the forest, we found a few more of the expected species. Oh yeah? Smaller than I remember. Picks up morning dove. 
picked up house finch, a lot of house finches. We headed back to the car and decided to shift our plans. Since we didn't find a lot of ducks in Monona Bay, we searched for recent reports of waterfowl on eBird and found a location with sightings in the past few days. After multiple attempts to access the location, we finally found a parking lot with a long boardwalk that would hopefully lead to a gold mine of species to add to our list. While driving to this location, we also picked up Rock Pigeon. Well, we're trying to get some ducks here in Madison, but we're trying to access this one location and it's just been difficult, like everything's been blocked off. Nightmarish. So we hope we're going the right way. This is kind of key to us getting a high total, getting some of these ducks. Looks like there's something way, way out there and we've got a ways to go. The situations that I despise on the first of the year because they're time killers. Like when you don't know how far something is, then you just walk a really long ways and you're halfway out. You're like, well, we might as well go see it. And then like three hours later, like, well, we don't have time to see anything else. What would make this worth it? Like 20 duck species huh. and a vermilion flycatcher. I think you're asking too much on the I vermilion. I'm asking just the right amount. We arrived at the open water and started to pick through the many duck species. Okay, Derek, you ready to do a duck montage? Go. My camera if you want to. Oh, nice. Picked him out of nowhere. Pretty. Yeah, the camera's back. Didn't know there's two. Yeah. Hey, there you go. What do you think about this place? It's pretty cool. I wish it wasn't so far though. Yeah. We got some good stuff. How many did we get, you think? No, I'd have to tally it up. Have a good one, you guys. With time running out, we trekked back to the car and made the drive to Johnson Creek to look for the California gull, which had been hanging out in a parking lot across from a landfill with a flock of other gulls. Look at all those gulls. They're loafing around. There's somebody scoping. Nice, that's what I like to see. The large flock of gulls contained several interesting species. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find the California gull in the time we were there. With only a few hours of daylight left, we headed to our next location, the Kettle Moraine State Forest, to look for boreal species. As we drove, it started to rain and snow, putting a damper on our mood and making us question how many more locations we would be able to visit. Nevertheless, we continued to find species in the Kettle Moraine State Forest. Mostly siskins. Mm. A shepherd soak. Got it. We were planning on going to the Milwaukee lakeshore, but now it's snowing pretty heavily out and the roads are starting to get bad. It's not supposed to stop not for a while. So we're not sure what we're going to do. So we're now on winter weather advisory and we're just supposed to get snow and rain for the rest of the day. So it's not looking great. I don't know what we're going to do because I'd like to go to Milwaukee, but I also don't want to die. So it's worth it. Also, is it? We were doing pretty well, we were getting excited, and now the snow has really made things difficult. And we're trying to get down to Milwaukee. We're at 43 species right now. With the weather in Milwaukee way worse than we expected, we tried to brave the elements and pick up a few more species. Got really bad really fast. Our first stop was the lakefront to look for some of the gulls we missed on earlier in the day. Dude, this is crazy. With the gulls checked off the list, we tried scanning the open water for ducks in the snowy, windy, and wavy conditions. Would you say this is the craziest first of the year so far? Yeah, it's not, not great. Not it's, ending how I put it. It's not a good, go. not a good kind of crazy. You can't always get what you want kind of crazy. There's a bird. What kind of bird? I don't know. 
Oh my goodness! Any luck? Oh, I had it. What is it? Red breasted mergs. Red breasted mergs? Yep, yep, yep. Red breasted merganser. Finish it off strong. Let's get out of here and go home. If not for the snow, we would have beaten our record, I'm sure of it. We were even close with the snow. There's always owls tonight. Owls tonight. No, I don't think so. If it could keep snowing like this. I think it's supposed to. What do you think? 2021 going to be better than 2020? Oh yeah. Later that night, the snow stopped, and we had one more surprise to add to our list. It's a huge owl. Alright, we decided to do some late night owling, and uh, we were just about to leave, and a bird silently swooped across uh, this road and landed on a chimney, and so we weren't exactly sure. It was really big, so we figured it was probably a great horn. Um, but it just called for a little bit. We should probably get out of the road. Called for a little bit, so we confirmed it for sure. All in all, our 2021 first of the year trip was a serious adventure. Even though we were hampered by snow, we still managed to find 47 different species of birds, including the rare spotted towhee. If not for the weather, we're convinced we definitely would have beaten our previous record total. We were assisted by a number of helpful birders throughout our trip, and it was great to get out and spend the first day of the year with some awesome Wisconsin bird species. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. My heel is bleeding. Why? I'm walking in his boots. Uh, I think my hand is about to fall off. That brings us to 15. Potentially. Our total is 51. We lifted up. Uh, Are we insane? Yep. A hairy, downy, and red-bellied woodpecker, so off to a great start. As Rob would say, Fred down. You know what you can do? You can ride it down. Add that species to the list. Ride it down. Ride it down. Ride it down.